Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add Equin to WordPress website. The first thing you will need to do is create an account on Equin.com. It is quite straightforward to do as all you'll need to do is sign up using your email address and you can get started for completely free. Once you have created your Equin account, the next thing that you'll need to do is add products. So first you are going to go over to the top left hand menu option and you are going to select products. From there if you want to sell a physical or digital product all you'll need to do is tap on add new product and then from there you can upload the product image, add in the name and also description and set a price. Once you are finished you'll simply tap on save. But let's say you don't want to sell a digital product or a physical product. Instead, you want to do some drop shipping or print on demand. You can also do that on the Equin platform. For example, this item that you see right here, this bag was created on Printful and this is how you'll be able to do print on demand. As you can also see Printful right here on the left hand menu option. As with Equin and Printful, it is quite easy to incorporate both platforms together. All you'll need to do is download the Printful app. So to download an app on Equin, you'll simply go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to scroll down and you're going to hover over apps. Then you'll select App Market. After selecting App Market, you'll be redirected to a new page. And this is the Equin App Store. So if you would like to do print on demand, all you'll have to do If you would like to do print on demand, all you'll need to do is simply download the Printful app as you can see right here. Then you would sign up with Printful and from there you'll be able to create different products adding your design. For example, you can see right here, these are some of the products that I've created as I'm currently on Printful, as you can see right here. But let's say you don't want to use Printful, instead you would like to add products from AliExpress or so on, you can also do that. All you'll need to do once you're on the App Store on Equin, you'll simply tap on Dropshipping. And after selecting Dropshipping, you'll be redirected to this page. And the app that I would recommend that you use is SUP Dropshipping. So you are going to tap on SUP Dropshipping. The reason why I recommend this app is because the other apps, meanwhile they do offer a free trial, their, their free trial will end within like 7 days or so on and you would need to go on the paid plan. Meanwhile, the SUP Dropshipping is completely free. So you'll tap on SUP Dropshipping, then you'll be redirected to a new page and from there, you'll be able to add products from AliExpress. So all you'll need to do is tap on install and then you'll be able to add products. Once you have added products to your store, all you'll need to do now is simply scroll down from the left hand menu option and right where you see sales channel, you're going to hover over it and right where you see website, you're going to tap right there then you are going to select overview. After selecting overview, what I want you to do next is simply scroll down and you are going to scroll all the way down until you see add your store to one more website and you are going to tap on pick platform. Once you have tapped on pick platform, it is now time to go into your WordPress website. And for this example, I will be creating a WordPress website using 00 web hosts. So with this platform, you'll be able to create a WordPress website for completely free. All you'll need to do is go onto the platform, tap on get started. And from there, you can sign up using your email address. After tapping on get started and signing up, you will be redirected to this platform. And all you have to do is tap on create new website. Then from there, you can enter your password right here. You can create a password. So let me create a password real quick. So you can see right here. After you have created this password, you will simply tap on this application is for WordPress. 
Then I'm going to enter the name right here, which is optional. Then I'll tap on create. After tapping on create, you're going to give it a few seconds. Let me, another website is there with this name. So let me change the name. Once you have finished entering that information, you will see this page right here. And we are going to tap on install WordPress. After you have tapped on install WordPress, from there, you are going to add your admin password. So let me do that real quick. And then you are going to tap on install. So let me do that. Tap on install. Then once it has been installed, you can see right here, they are installing WordPress. Just give it a few seconds. For WordPress dashboard, all we'll need to do is go back into Equin. Then we are going to tap right where you see WordPress. Then after you have tapped on WordPress, you will see the option to get WordPress plugin. So all you have to do is tap on get WordPress plugin. Then once you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page and you're going to tap on download. Then once the plugin has been downloaded, you are going to go back into your WordPress website. Then I want you to go over to the left-hand menu option and right where you see plugins, you are going to tap on add new. After tapping on add new, in the top left-hand corner, you will see the option upload plugin. You are going to tap on that. So tap on upload plugin right here. So let's do that. Let's do that real quick. So we'll tap on upload plugin. Then you are going to tap on choose file. After you have tapped on choose file, you are going to choose the plugin, then tap on open. Then you are going to tap on install now. And you can see that the plugin is being installed. Just give it a few seconds. Then you are going to tap on activate plugin. Once it has been installed, and you can see that Equin has now been added, all you'll need to do is tap on connect your store. Then from here, you will see Equin plugin for WordPress, and you are going to tap on accept. Then just give it a few seconds, and you'll be redirected to the Equin plugin page. So you'll be redirected to the dashboard. Just give it a few seconds. Meanwhile, it loads up. Once it loads up, you will see your store, as you can see right here, your Equid store. So you can see right there. And you can see that your products have been added and everything also. So if you were to go over to the left-hand menu option, you can tap on storefront and you'll be able to see your products. If you would like to add more products, you can tap on that. And you can see your products right here. Once the plugin has been installed and you're on the store dashboard, as you can see right here, the Equin dashboard, if we were to go over to the left hand menu option and tap on storefront right here, you can see that your store page has been published and your store page is published to the WordPress website. So all we'll need to do is tap on view store page and you can see that it has now been added to my WordPress website. So here it is. And if someone were to tap on one of these products, they would be able to go through and make a purchase, as you can see right here. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.